the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 158, Psalms 143 to 150. David, a man of true faith. We praise God who is King, whose love is eternal and infinite, and who draws near to all who seek Him. Hallelujah. First point. David yearned for God and prayed that his spirit adore him. In Psalm 143, David turned to God when he felt extremely lost and confused. David found hope in God each time he felt distressed and remembered each time to praise God. At the time David wrote this, his soul was as down as it could be. He expressed that he felt as though his enemies had seized him long ago. He expressed that his soul was as tired and downcast as it could be. Therefore, David started to think about the times God was with him in the past. For example, when he was fighting against the lion and the bear and also against the Goliath. God does not only listen to people's praise, but he also listens to their cry. So David cried out to God for help during his time of despair. Second point, David thanked God for loving him. Psalm 144 was written by David, and he praised God for victory, even before heading out for bed. This is because David had faith that God looks after his children, and that God would make sure that they prosper. David, who was used to fighting, prayed to God. He confessed that God taught him what to do, and that God gave him strength. He moreover confessed that God taught him everything about battles, and that all glory was for God. From the whole Bible, David was an outstanding king who led his country into countless victories. He always turned to God and also marveled at his work. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them, mere mortals that you think of them? David was able to truly confess this and worship God for his grace. Third point. David praises God, who is his king. Psalm 145 was David's worship poem. Here, David claims that all who turn to him will receive his blessing. And rather than referring to himself as king, he emphasized that God was the ultimate king. He wanted to raise God's name above high. I will exalt to you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. Psalm 145 is the only psalm that is reported to as David's psalm of praise. David wrote many psalms, but Psalm 145 is particularly sung the most as a hymn. Here, David confesses that he praises God five times. He forever sings of God's praises. If David only remembered the suffering he went through in his youth, he would not have been able to remember God as such. But David never failed to remember God. All throughout his suffering, he always turned to God. David remembered how God protected him and the song of his wonders. Fourth point, the psalmist sings that praising God is the most beautiful thing humans can do. In Psalm 147, 
The psalm is the phrase God's for looking after the whole world and for particularly taking care of Israel. Above all, the psalmist thanks God for giving them his laws and decrees. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. The psalmist emphasizes the joy in praising God and the country's reasons one should praise God. He particularly thinks towards Mount Zion and the Temple of Jerusalem. This is because God raised it and dwells in it. Fifth point, the psalmist tells all those with life to praise God. In Psalm 150, the psalmist commands all those who have life to praise God. He shouts that God is the owner of time and space and all lives. Therefore, all who have life should praise God, because it is God who gave us life. In Psalm 150, many instruments are used. Instruments and voices are used to praise God. But the most important thing above all is the heart to rejoice God. Stop trusting in mere humans who have but a breath in their nostrils. Why hold them in esteem? The people I formed for myself that they may proclaim my praise. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.